Hey guys, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to properly configure Hammer in Source SDK. Um, a lot of people are getting uh, errors and they're not seeing their games in the game list or if you're brand new to Hammer you're going to want to uh, configure it anyway. Alright, so if you don't have Source SDK, um, open up your Steam window <coughs> and go to Tools and you'll see Source SDK, just click Install free. Once you have it installed, go ahead and open it up. Once it's opened, you should see this window here on the current game. You should be able to click the drop down box and select the game that are installed the games that are installed on your uh, PC. Um, if you do not see your games, or you see games that aren't even installed, um, what you do is you close this out, go into your Steam window, and uh, right click on Source SDK, and go down to Properties, and then Set Launch Options, and add this this uh, this line here, dash engine space ep1. It'll use the first source engine as its source. Um, <clears throat> I had a bunch of errors with it and I didn't see my games in the list. I typed in this. Once you do that, push OK, close, and then launch it again. And then you should see your games in the drop down box. Um, select your game and double click on hammer editor if you get a pop up about, about uh, configuring it just click cancel um, or click yes uh, cancel will just bring you here to where I'm gonna show you um, if you click yes it'll just be a couple steps ahead of us um, you want to go to uh, Tools, Options. Um, this is where you set up your configuration. Um, go to a selected game. And then under Game Data Files, click Add. And you should already be in the bin. And select your um, cstrike.fgd. See, it says FGD file select your FGD I've already had it so I'll just remove it okay once you select your FGD make sure um, you don't have to change all these um, your default texture skill is 0.25 your default light map skill 16 and doesn't matter should already be set and then your game executable directory click browse and go into where you installed your Counter-Strike source. If you got it off of Steam, you'll go into C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, your account name, and um, there it is. Just click highlight it and then click OK. Um, if you bought Counter-Strike source or the game that you have or are configuring and have it on a CD and install it, it'll be under Valve and then Steam. And now a game directory. Um, basically, it's the same as this, except uh, backslash and then your folder for it. So, say we're configuring for Counter Strike Source, Steam, Steam Apps, account name, Counter Strike Source. You should see a, a file called, um, like in Half Life 2, you'll see a file like this, HL2, and Counter Strike Source, you'll see C Strike. It's um, they're pretty similar. Just uh, click your, click the one that's similar to the name, and click OK. I'm clicking cancel because I already set this up. Um, Hammer VMF directory. Um, it's basically where you want your maps to be saved, um, and then read from Hammer. And uh, it's not really a choice. You have to set it to a certain spot. So go to browse, see. Program Files, Steam or Valve, 
Steam apps, your account name, source SDK, and um, or wait, no, source SDK content, and then the game you're uh, configuring. So here's Team Fortress, Portal, Half-Life 2, uh, multiplayer, which is the deathmatch, Half-Life 2, Day of Defeat, and then here's Counter Strike right here, and then open up the game you're configuring and click on the folder that's maps rc and then click ok and you're done with the game configurations we don't need these tabs at all they're already they should be already set um, now go to build programs tab select your game from the drop down box and gain your game executable so basically the, your launcher the, the uh, exe the dot exe the executable so click browse um, it should send you to the game that you put up here. If it doesn't, just go to uh, your program files, Steam, Steam apps, your account, uh, then the game you're configuring, and there should be a Half-Life 2 launcher. Or um, yeah, I don't. I've never seen other, anything other than else uh, Half-Life 2 launcher. And then just click open or double click it and then your BSP executable all these are pretty self-explanatory uh, I'll just show you guys just click browse and you should already be in, in a bin folder and see how it says BSP um, double click on the VBSP right here um, and click open and then the VIS click browse there's a VVIS click open the rad would be v rad there's a v in front of almost all of these so v b s p v v i s v rad so the rad executable do the uh, v rad and then place compiled maps um this either is not a choice you have to have them in a certain spot for them to work go into your steam steam apps account name the game you're configuring open it up and then go into the we talked about earlier the similar file and then there should be a maps just highlight it and click OK and then click OK and there you go you should be done um, to start a map just go to file new and now if um, tutorials on how to use hammer and make maps for it you can either look up um, there's a guy by the name of V-A-A-T-R-A-D, Vatrad. He has excellent tutorials on YouTube. Or um, you can look for others on other video source sites. Um, or I don't know why, but you can wait till mine come out because I'm going to be making some soon. So um, yeah, here you go. Have fun.